Prince Harry and Meghan Markle relocated to her home state of California in 2020. Prince Harry stepped out in Santa Barbara the day before the palace made announcements about Kate Middleton's successful abdominal surgery and King Charles's upcoming procedure for an enlarged prostate. On Tuesday, the Duke of Sussex, 39, was spotted leaving a workout near his neighborhood of Montecito, California. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle settled in the enclave after relocating to the Duchess's home state with their son Prince Archie, for, in 2020. Their daughter Princess Lilibet, too, was born in 2021. Prince Harry wore black activewear with sneakers and a blue beanie that might seem familiar. The Duke of Sussex's hat looked like the one he wore in a photo that opened the 2019 year-end video shared to the Sussex Royal Instagram account he shared with Meghan. The clip opened with a previously unseen snap of the Duke of Sussex holding Archie before a body of water, where the father and son matched in winter caps. Harry and Meghan seemed to reach for beanies while off-duty in Canada, where the Duchess of Sussex lived while filming suits before getting engaged to Prince Harry in 2017. Prince Harry has worked out in Santa Barbara before and was seen leaving a gym there in August 2023. The Duke of Sussex is known for his athleticism and competed in the Centibale SPS Handa Polo Cup at the Singapore Polo Club over the summer. The equestrian event is the flagship fundraiser for Centibale, the charity he co-founded with Prince Siso of Lesotho in 2006 to help children and young people affected by poverty, inequality, and HIV, AIDS in Southern Africa. The Duke of Sussex was photographed during his workout the day before Kensington Palace and Buckingham Palace issued separate statements about Princess Kate and King Charles's health. On Wednesday, Kensington Palace that Princess Kate, 42, underwent a planned abdominal surgery at the London Clinic the day prior and was expected to remain at hospital for at least one week. The surgery was successful, and it is expected that she will remain in hospital for 10 to 14 days, before returning home to continue her recovery, the statement said. Based on the current medical advice, she is unlikely to return to public duties until after Easter. The Princess of Wales appreciates the interest this statement will generate. She hopes that the public will understand her desire to maintain as much normality for her children as possible, and her wish that her personal medical information remains private, it continued. Kensington Palace will, therefore, only provide updates on Her Royal Highness progress when there is significant new information to share. The Princess of Wales wishes to apologize to all those concerned for the fact that she has to postpone her upcoming engagements. She looks forward to reinstating as many as possible, as soon as possible, the statement said. People understands that the issue was non-cancerous and that Prince William has shifted his schedule to support her. William is expected to postpone some engagements to be by Kate's side and support their family. The Prince and Princess of Wales are parents to Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 8, and Prince Louis, 5, who recently returned to the classroom following a holiday break. Shortly after the announcement, Buckingham Palace shared that King Charles is seeking treatment for an enlarged prostate. In common with thousands of men each year, the King has sought treatment for an enlarged prostate, the statement said. His Majesty's condition is benign, and he will attend hospital next week for a corrective procedure. The King's public engagements will be postponed for a short period of recuperation, it added. It's understood that the King, 75, wanted to share his diagnosis to encourage men who may be experiencing symptoms to get checked. King Charles will be capable of fulfilling his constitutional requirements and duties during this time, a royal source tells People. On Friday, Prince Harry is among the four people set to be inducted at the 21st Annual Living Legends of Aviation Awards in Beverly Hills. The honor was announced last Wednesday, and the event, hosted by John Travolta, will honor those who have made significant contributions to aviation aerospace. Prince Harry served as a helicopter pilot during his decade in the British Army, flying training missions in the US, UK and Australia as well as combat missions in Afghanistan. The Living Legends of Aviation also praised Prince Harry as the creator of the Invictus Games, the Paralympic-style sporting competition for wounded service personnel and veterans.